Let's make some tzatziki. I make it all the time at work. I get a million questions on how to do it. So I figured let's just make it together. Let's just you and me make it together. So super simple. It's gonna change game changer for side dishes, dips, marinades. You can use it for so many things. Greek plain non-fat. Well, I use the great low-fat plain yogurt. Greek yogurt. You can use the full fat if you like. I like the non-low-fat or non-fat because um, I use it on so much stuff. Dill. It's what makes the whole thing. Besides the cucumber, a little bit of red onion, garlic, and some lemon. So traditionally, you want to shred your cucumber. So get a bowl because you want all that cucumber water and juice because. It adds flavor. So you want to get you want to get your stuff yourself. Uh, you want to get yourself ready to shred your cucumber. So I go on the big one, just like you're shredding cheese. We're going through. Now you really don't want all the water. We'll wring out a little bit of it, but we want to get. Oh, I want the skin and every part of the cucumber because that's where all the flavor is. Because the yogurt really doesn't have much flavor. It's picking up the flavor of the dill and the cucumber. So you can kind of just see. And this is where the texture comes in. Like I like it to be like a thick cream sauce. Keep thick and creamy. Okay. Shred your whole cucumber. Just keep shredding. Once the cucumber is shredded, while you're here, just turn it over to your smaller side and zest your lemon already in there. And like I said, don't before, don't go down too much to the white because then it gets bitter. But zest your lemon because it adds so much more flavor to it. And it gives that bright note, that nice and fresh note. So I'm using two lemons because I am going to juice them into our tzatziki. Um, I usually use the zest of a lemon on everything possible. Put this aside right now and go to the dill. Very easy. Stem, dill. I go right around the middle. I don't want that part, so I'm going to get rid of that. And now it's like the firm tree. I'm just going to chop it down and I'm going to turn it and chop it again this way. I'm going to do this a couple times until it's like really, really fine. Not like parsley all over the place. I like to turn it so that I make sure I get all different angles of the leaves. Once your dill is finely chopped, I'm going to take that, add it right on into your cucumber and lemon zest. Choose your knife to kind of get up any of the little bit left. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands, wipe down my board so we can cut the onion and the garlic next. It's red onion and garlic time. Very simple. We're gonna do a very small dice on the red onion. And then the garlic, we're gonna mince it. We're gonna mince the garlic really, really fine and add it. So you're gonna small dice a red onion, mince, mince, mince garlic, and you're gonna add in the, the, the red onion. We're talking about a small, fine, fine, fine dice. Fine dice. I'm having a hard time speaking here. Okay, turn my knife through one more time just because why not? Okay, garlic, what I meant by minced, I meant minced right in the bowl. So now we have the cucumber, the red onion, the garlic, the dill in there. We zested the lemons. I rolled my lemons and now we're gonna juice two really nice lemons right into the bowl. Oops, flipped upside down. And then we're gonna add our Greek yogurt to it. Salt and pepper. I forgot to cut that lemon. Hold on. Salt and pepper, and that's pretty much it. That's how I do my tzatziki. Um, but you can make this. It could stay up to like two weeks in the fridge. Uh, eight, yeah, eight days. Eight days in the fridge in a quart container. You can use it to, with grilled chicken. You can make it into a salad dressing. You can even marinate. Fish in it. So let's get the Greek yogurt out. So. I'm going to use probably the whole entire container, which is, I can't even tell you right now, this is more than a quart. Um, and the only thing left that's not already in here is a little bit of red wine vinegar um, that I'm going to use, but you can kind of see how it's all coming together. Just keep stirring. Do not be scared to salt this. Greek yogurt is very neutral and does not have a lot of flavor. So for the tzatziki, you really do want to add salt. The whole thing is the dill and the cucumbers. The salt will brighten up the flavor. So let me get the salt and pepper and a little bit of red wine vinegar, and then we'll finish this up. And I'll get the pita chips. Okay, 
So when I mean a splash, I mean a splash. Yeah. One, two, three. And now we're gonna salt. Like I said, don't be scared of salt. Add a pepper already. And we're gonna stir. I'm gonna tell my sidekick, Bill, to go get the pita chips. Bill, the pita chips. Cause I need to try my tzatziki with the pita chips. I mean, you can eat it like this. I mean, it's a little aggressive. Um, but let me take some salt. Ooh, with that lemon zest, I got a nice little piece of that. Beautiful. All right, hold on, hold yours. Stacy's pita chips are the best, in my opinion. Perfect. Perfect. Done. You try it, you do it, tag us, let us know. Message me. I would love to see you make the tzatziki.